Hey everyone, here's a question on exercise 11.2. This is fourth question from the chapter perimeter and area. And uh, here they have given a table with the base, height, and area of triangle. And you can see that there are few things which are missing. Like in the first one, height is missing. In the second one, base is missing. So what we're going to do? We're going to apply the formula and we're going to find out. So in the first question, you can see we have given a base and we have given area of triangle. So let me write down the area of triangle formula. It's a half into base into height. Now we're going to substitute what we know from the question. So this is equal to we know area of triangle is 87 and base is 15. So half into base is 15 centimeter. So write down 15 multiplied by height. We don't know. So let me write down h. Now area of triangle is 87. Now we have to solve this. Now I'm going to transpose this 2 to the other side or you can cancel 2 and 15 but it will be in decimal so I'm going to transpose 2 to the other side. Now 2 is in division when you transpose this to the other side it comes in multiplication. So 87 multiplied by 2 is equal to 15 multiplied by h. Now I want only h on the other side I don't want 15 there. I'm going to transpose 15 to the other side once again. Now since 15 is in multiplication when we transpose this to the other side it comes in division so 87 multiplied by 2 is 174 so 174 is equal to 15 into h now transpose 15 there so it comes in division so 174 divided by 15 is equal to h now obviously the answer will be in decimal because we cannot cancel because, uh, the number will not be a whole number it will be in decimal so you can cancel this in any table i'm going to cancel this in three tables so three five are 15 and then 3 5 are 15 again. 2 is left. So that makes 24. And th uh, 3 8 are 20. So we got 50 divided by 5. Now obviously it doesn't go in 5 table. We'll get the answer in decimal. So 5 ones are 5. And then in the numerator 5 ones are 5. We have 8. So 5 ones are 5 ones again. And the 3 is a remainder. So put decimal and then 0. It makes 13. So 11.6. If you don't understand how I'm cancelling, you can do the division method and you can get the answer. So, height is equal to 11.6 centimeter. So, in place of height, I'm going to write down 11.6 centimeter. Now, same thing we have to do in the second question. The formula will remain same. So, let me see what is given and what is not given. So, in this question, you can see that base is missing. We have given height that is 31.4 and we have given the area of triangle which is 1256 so let's substitute there so half into base we have to find out so multiplied by b and height is 31.4 and area of triangle is 1256 we will do the same thing you can cancel 2 and 31.4 or you can transpose this to the other side here i'm going to cancel this because it's an even number so two ones are two one is left so two fives are ten again one is left so that makes the number 14 Put decimal and then two sevens are 14. Now we got 15.7 on the other side. So 1, 2, 5, 6 is equal to base into 15.7. Now this 15.7 is in multiplication. When we transpose this to the other side, it comes in division. So base is equal to or you can write down 1256 divided by 15.7 is equal to base. Now we have to do the cancellation. So let me rewrite this so base is equal to now here one more thing i'm going to remove the decimal i'm going to put 10 in the numerator because there's only one number after decimal so this makes 1256 multiplied by 10 divided by 157 now you can go with the cancellation process now here we're going to cancel the numbers so we can cancel this in 157 table itself so when you cancel this you can see that the last digit is 6 right so here you have already multiplied and tried 157 multiplied by 8 is 1256 you can cross check because the last digit ending is 6 and 7 8 is 56 so i just did a trial error method i got it correct so i'm just directly cancelling this so 157 multiplied by 8 is 1256 so i cancelled it now 10 is left in the numerator multiply it so 8 tens are 80 80 millimeters since unit is given millimeter the answer will be in millimeter then next one this is the last question here in the last last one the same it's like a similar to the first one height is missing they have given base and they have given area of triangle so let's substitute in the formula 
so area of triangle is equal to half into base into height so this will be equal to half into base here is 22 so let me write down the area of triangle 170.5 is equal to half into 22 multiplied by height now we're going to cancel 2 and 22 we'll get 11 so 170.5 is equal to 11 multiplied by height now we're going to transpose this 11 to the other side so from here we can write down 170.5 divided by 11 is equal to height now we're going to cancel this in 11 table so remove the decimal from the numerator and we'll get 10 in the denominator you can cancel this in 5 table or you can cancel this in 11 table. So height is equal to 1705 or 1 divided by 1110 or 1 11 multiplied by 10 anything. So here we are going to cancel 11 and 1705 so 11 ones 11 and then we have 6 left that makes a number 60 so 11 5 is a 55. So 5 left that makes the number 5, 55. So 11 5s are 55. So we got 155 in the numerator. So 155 divided by 10. Now instead of dividing this with 10, I'm going to directly write down. I'm going to directly put the decimal here. So I'm going to put the decimal from the right side after one digit. So it will become 15.5 centimeter. That's it. So from here we got the height which is 15.5 centimeter. In the cancellation process you can go with your own method. If this is like not uh, getting you can go with your own method. So that's it. I hope this is clear. In case you have any question or doubts you can drop a comment below. Thank you.